now I explain uh, the topology, edit topology word uh, whose hotkey is A. And in this node, you can first select uh, some one of uh, these curve segments, and the selected one is shown in red. Now it, uh, it has six quads along it, and I can increase the number of quads by uh, pressing C key. Um, and yeah, I can increase as much as I want, and also, of course, I can decrease it. Um, yeah. Also, you can select multiple size um, by holding shift and clicking, and this will just uh, increase, uh, uh, just add this curve to the selected set of curves. And now I can simultaneously change uh, the number of quads along these curve segments. And yeah, uh, clicking elsewhere will uh, deselect everything. And uh, also, it's possible to uh, consider select multiple curves in a different way, which is uh, holding control and clicking. And in this mode, uh, the system uh, traces over the strip of quads starting from the clicked position. So, in this case, it uh, walks from here uh, in to the right and then. Uh, it collects all the curve segments that uh, pass uh, through this strip of quads. So um, this way you can select uh, yeah, different sets of um, curve segments depending on where you click. Um, yeah. And then uh, you can also um, adjust the locations of singularities by dragging with the mouse. Um, oh, sometimes the mapping between the mouse move uh, direction and the actual uh, moving of singularity is uh, reversed. Um, and uh, unfortunately, this intuitive nice control is only available for this kind of four-sided path, and it's not possible to for other uh, other types of polygons like three-sided patch, and for these uh, different uh, for for these uh, non or four-sided patches, the uh, control you have is based on uh, yeah a little bit more complicated uh, interface. So you can select uh, uh, one of these arrows, and the selected arrow is highlight, highlighted. And now you can increase the number of, of edge flows uh, that run along uh, across these arrows. So now, if I decrease the number um, by pressing, oh, oh, I cannot decrease it anymore. But uh, I can increase the number of uh, quads uh, between these arrows, and now it has one, two, three, four, five quads, and I can increase it further. Like now it has six, one, two, three, four, five, six quads, and so on. And uh, but you cannot decrease it uh, further uh, from here, so it must have at least four, one, two, three, four quads between these uh, similarities. And uh, likewise, you can do similar operation for other uh, arrows. And also, the boundary of the patch has uh, a little red arrows, and uh, yeah, you can de change the distance uh, between the boundary and some singularity inside. So I can increase or decrease the distance. Yeah, uh, this interface is admittedly not that intuitive, but yeah, you can use it if you like. Um, 